Kevin Hogan and Stanford hold the nation's longest home winning streak of 18 games, but they had to host Cody Kessler and USC. Start of the third quarter, Stanford, fourth and one, inside the USC five-yard line, and Daniel Mars stops short. Big stop for the USC defense. Ensuing USC drive, Javaris Allen takes a handoff, makes a nice cut, and he's going down the sideline and takes it 50 yards down inside the 20 yard line. Allen, 154 yards rushing, second most by any player versus Stanford under head coach David Shaw. Later in the drive, Andre Hudari knocks in a 25 yard field goal, ties the ball game up at 10, but Steve Sarkeesian was called for a delay of game sideline interference penalty. Now Sarkeesian not happy. Coaches going off on the referees after the call. Sarkeesian called for a 15 yard unsportsmanlike penalty added on top of the delay of game. Now the ensuing kickoff for USC, Ty Montgomery on the return, reverses field, takes it down the sideline and is hit out of bounds by Hayes Pollard. Now Pollard called for a personal foul targeting a defenseless runner. Take another look. Pollard Leads with the crown of his helmet, so he would be ejected from the game. Now, during the break in action, USC athletic director Pat Hayden had words to say about this. Well, I got a text just to come down because Sark wanted to talk to me, and he, he felt the, the penalty called on him was unfair, and uh, the referee explained that he had warned him, so that's why he got the penalty. But uh, it's been uh, it's been a really frustrating quarter with the penalties, believe me. Well, in the fourth quarter, still tied. Hadari, who hit the game winner against Stanford last season, lined up for a 53-yarder, knocks it in with room to spare, USC up 13-10. Ensuing Stanford drive, third and six, Hogan is sacked by J.R. Tavai and loses the ball. USC recovers, and the USC defense coming up big again. Hogan hit from the blind side, and USC... Holds on to win 13-10 in the final.